We're going to do burnishing in this segment. I have my black paint I'm going to use. I have my fork texture, and fork textures are really fabulous for doing this burnishing technique. Now, here's a tip. You can either put it on the side, and I'll show you that method first. You can put your paint on the side. I'm going to dry this off a little bit more. You're going to have a damp sponge. Then you're just going to apply your paint to that. I think I can get a little bit more paint going on in that. You must allow your, your fork texture to dry before doing this. And this is all you do. You're going to get these in the groove. Get it in the groove. Just press it in. Pull it around. Okay. Now we're going to just take our hand towel and wipe. Now if you wipe too hard, you're going to take it out of the groove. I think I can have less water and more paint on my brush, my sponge brush. So I am going to just have a little dip of that water and this way it gets in my groove. My brush has been busy, so it has a little more water on it than I need. This is such a fun look. I love it. It, it looks, when you're done, sometimes it just looks like some yummy leather, caramel leather. Okay, that's nice, I like that. Okay, so that is one way of putting the burnishing on. Another way is just going direct. When you're comfortable, you'll just go direct by just sque squeezing a little bit of paint and just applying it directly to your surface. don't want to create little squares so that when you look at the at the artwork you see little boxes. That won't be very effective. You don't want to see where the seams where you started and stopped your burnishing effect. So we want to try and do this quickly and avoid having some areas darker than others. Everything should marry in together. Okay. So that's using the burnishing in the black. Let's try adding another color to it, just to show you, just to give you another field. Now I already have black on my brush. I'm gonna just, just for the sake of it, add a little bit of red, and I'm gonna add a little bit of pink. You can, you can jazz it up or tone it down. You just want to get it in those white grooves. And wipe off. Back to the bottom just to tie in with what I have on the other side just a little bit it's not gonna be something too outstanding and now I can just wipe it off so that's our burnishing effect play with your different colors the only color I do not recommend you burnishing with the only type paint I don't recommend you uh, burnishing with is glitter paints. It, it's really not effective. I, I would use that for another application. You can try your puffy paints but you don't want to puff. 
you don't want to um, puff your paints. Okay, so there we have it. Let's move on. We've burnished on the, the dark colors, which really gives a very rich effect. But now we're going to try the same thing with our bright colors. And this one, we're going to do directly on our surface using our espresso paint. I like the espresso finish because it's also in a pearl. You see, you have the different, um, each company has a different name for the type of finishes they have. So we have the pearl, we have the slick, we have the puffy, and we have the matte. And each one of them in their own right gives a different effect. I don't want to get hung up on those um, different uh, names that they have to it. I, I think I'd like you to experiment with it to see what you like. Especially seeing that different countries would have different brands of paints. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to squeeze this. If you have a really massive design to do, you're going to still do this in small portions. You're not going to attempt this because it will dry. If you try to do this all over your fabric and you don't know if your phone is going to ring or there's going to be some distraction. So we're just going to, since this is a small area, we're going to just apply it and rub off. Even without rubbing off, you can see where this is just very attractive, very effective. You see how you can turn to tone. You can tone down your design. I love it. Okay, let's get some. Let's get some of this off. You want some of the bold colors to peep through. It is gorgeous. If you're into designing gift wrapping paper or wallpaper, this is also a great art for it. Very nice. Another burnish, burnishing technique. 